Hey guys, I'm here with a video on affordable airsoft stuff. Um, this is going to be a first of many. Um, I've decided to go with my channel to go ahead and get uh, stuff that's inexpensive so I can help you guys find stuff that's inexpensive to, so you can play airsoft without wasting all your money on stuff you don't need. Alright, first of all I'm going to tell you, all this stuff in this picture, it's all from surplus stores. And, uh, it depends on what surplus store you go to or what equipment you're buying, but most of the time, with my experience, stuff from surplus stores has been cheaper than, like, real airsoft, you know, stuff you buy off the website. Some of it is because it's been used. Some of it is because, I mean, they don't really see a reason why you should have to spend so much if you just want to, you know, have pieces of um, equipment that people who serve your country use, you know, just to, like, you know... It's something cool to have and talk about and use for, like, airsoft purposes. Now, uh, I'm going to show you some of this stuff. And uh, I, I can't remember all the exact prices, but I'm going to tell you it's very cheap compared to what I've spent on airsoft stuff. Which still isn't a ton, but it's still cheaper than that. Okay, first, I'm just going to start off with right here. This doesn't look like much. But, um... If I unfold it and everything, it's actually from like uh, earlier, like Vietnam era war, and uh, about like this, which I wear with uh, my current airsoft loadout that I just showed the airsoft loadout two video about like this, all these holes and stuff on here, these buckle right in. And these go over your shoulders, and then this would be on your back, and this would connect down to the back part. Um, this is right here, this strap and everything, was maybe about like $10 or something like that. And if you get, a, get it at an, a surplus store, I mean, there's not as much, like, you don't have to pay shipping and everything, so it's a, like exactly $10. This thing, I got this thrown in for free. It's just a little medic pack that you put on the shoulder part right here. Um... And there's, right here, you can put a grenade on that. Uh, just very simple, it's just shoulder straps, you know. And then it's got these loops in here. And everything. But that's like $10. And you can use that, and this belt, which the belt maybe costs 10 so that's like $20 for these straps, the belt. And sometimes they'll throw in something free like this, you know. You could put BBs in here, a flashlight, anything, you know, small that you could put in there. I'm going to throw this off the bed. Alright, this flashlight. I'm not sure exactly how much this would cost. Um, I can't remember. This one doesn't work, but that's only because uh, it's a really old one. And I didn't really buy it for uh, use, just for looks. And it's an old flashlight that also this metal clip right here. You could put it right on that loop on the straps I was just showing you. The shoulder straps, you could put it right on that loop, you know. And it's for it's really good for like, you know, milsome, uh, trying to look like you, military and stuff. This right here is actually what I used before I got my actual like plate carrier vest, that's in my loadout. Um, it's actually really good. It's really lightweight, and uh, you you have space so that you can carry a backpack on here too, uh, because the back is totally flat when you have it on. The shoulder pads are very comfortable. And, uh, like the straps I just showed you, they have loops and everything, so you can put grenades on the shoulder parts. And, um, right here, that snaps off, and you can put that flashlight on there, a grenade, anything like that. And then these back loops right here, you could put something through there, like a hydration carrier. If you had a backpack with a hydration carrier on it, you could put the tube through there, under this strap, and up to the front, so it goes, so you can get it easily access that. That's about it for the shoulder straps on this thing. Um, tell you the truth, honestly, I don't know how much exactly this would cost, but I can't see it costing more than maybe like 20 bucks. Just this, uh, like, you know, clothing part. The belt is the $10, but just the clothing part. And it has pouches that are already attached to it. You don't have to buy pouches. And I'm going to tell you right now, each of these pouches can fit um, at least two M4 two M4 mags. Uh, doesn't matter the size. It's easier if you choose uh, taller, like the uh, 
regular 30 size round military magazines because they're easier to reach but it can hold at least two and that's like twenty dollars and there's four of those there's one two and then two on the other side as well right here and then right here you have two grenade pouches right here just really small sorry I keep saying right here a lot but uh, small grenade pouches right there and on the other side right here um, that's about it for that vest. There's nothing really on the inside, like any hidden pockets or anything. But, uh, it's really, it's really, uh, compact, and you can fit through doorways easily with this on, because all you're going to have is just, you know, them four magazines, and, uh, on the sides, and maybe a grenade or two here or there, and it's really not going to take up that much space. And then you can easily wear a backpack with it, because your back is going to be totally flat just like you're wearing a t-shirt when you have this thing on so that's really good also if you want to wear that backpack with it and so you'll have all that equipment in the backpack and then on this thing so you're going to have all your ammunition ready to go in this and I might show you a video of me wearing this so you can get an idea of what it looks like when it's on but I'm sure you can you know imagine what it would look like okay I'm going to set it to the side now sorry if this video is kind of long I just want to get all of it out of the way this you can also attach to the vest I was just showing you or any type of uh, belt that was attached to that vest and I like these because they're way easier to attach than Molly you just slip this over and then clip it down over the belt Yeah, and then uh, this can carry uh, lots of M4 mags uh, and grenades on the sides like that and this is not a real grenade they took the powder out of it and drilled a hole in the bottom but it's just for looks and uh... you know you can also buy these uh... i bought this for ten dollars this grenade and the only reason why it costs so much is because it w used to be a real grenade you know and it functions the same and everything i'm trying to show you this really quick but um, i did this to it myself just for uh... looks and show off and everything but uh... you hold down you can pull the pin out and then it like that there's a spring in there so it flies off like a real grenade but uh... yeah that's like ten dollars and it's kinda heavy too so it might weigh you down when you're running and stuff but it looks cool and you don't have to have it on you when you're actually playing this right here is a magazine pouch and it holds three to four i'm pretty sure it holds four I have some magazines that I bought at surplus stores just uh, for looks in there and uh, I think it can hold three that's probably going to be about as much but as you can see this well and also works better with taller magazines these are just smaller like early M4 uh, magazines like this like Vietnam style M4s and uh, you can also use them in here but it's easier to grab a taller magazine out and it has dividers for the magazines being taller in there and you can also put this on the belt you know so if you were holding if you were wearing that vest you could have those four mags in there and then three mags in here so you have like seven magazines and you could wear more than one of these pouches on there you could have two and maybe even three but usually they just have two on them put that to the side now this thing is really kind of useless for airsoft unless you have something you want to carry on you um, I guess you could carry like a water bottle in here or something but this is just a mortar case you know, hold a mortar around you know and uh, it's got a handle on it which you can put on the back of the backpack or something with a strap and then it's hollow on the inside and there's those little pieces in there to hold different kinds of mortars and you could put water bottles in here, BBs, anything like that. But I, I wouldn't recommend carrying this with you in an airsoft war, unless you're totally going for that whole like real life thing, or if you have an airsoft mortar, which it's kind of rare, I guess. But if you have, do have an airsoft mortar around, you could carry it in this, I guess. Um, I don't really see the use for this in real war, though. I mean, you have one mortar around. What are you gonna do with that? Unless it's like a big mortar round, then I guess you, I could get that, but 
Yeah, this this one was like fifteen dollars, and I just got this just because it's a cool piece of military uh, thing. But yes, this right here is a sniper mat, and I got this for free with the backpack. Um, it's a sniper mat, but uh, it run rolls, and it's just a mat that lays on the ground, kind of like a yoga mat, except you know military issue not yoga and you would just tie it up like this and put it on top of that backpack like like that and you've probably seen it in some movies or something like that but yeah you can put it on top of the backpack get that out of the way this backpack costs maybe like 30 to 35 dollars only because it can carry so much and if it comes with the frame it has three pockets on here one on the side you could put magazines MREs if you're in the actual military um, in there anything you can put in there uh, same pocket just in the middle I have a let me open that in there right now I have this this right here I'm not exactly sure what you call it so I'm not going to say anything but it's just like what they would eat out of. See? Um, I'll get that out of the way. But yeah, that was $3. If you really wanted this thing, it's like $3. And then this backpack right here. Still going on with this. That's the front one. And then there's the same exact one on the side. Now. This thing can carry a whole lot of stuff, and as you can see, it has some military clothing and everything in there right now, just so that it's filled out and it looks like it's being used, but it really isn't. Uh, right here, you can carry two M4, two or three M4 mags in the backpack, and this would be under the flap, these button down so they won't fall out, and then in here is where you would carry clothing, other things you would need, I don't know, and then there's a back pocket in here that tightens down, and then the whole thing has a flap that comes over that has a waterproof pocket, the flap is actually a pocket itself, and it opens like this, you know, pull those two apart, there's a pocket in there and it's waterproof, and then you can pull this over, and you tighten it down and that's how it would look and then on the other side the frame is very secure when you put it on there's lots of different uh, things that you clip around yourself these are the shoulder straps that are very comfortable for some reason uh, they must the original ones must they got switched out because these are woodland camo and the bag itself is actually like OD some kind of green I'm not exactly sure and I'm not gonna guess because people will try and correct me and then and stuff but uh yeah they got these two like a back pad back or butt pad right there and then you have these two big bulky straps that you would attach around your waist um that's about it and this is mostly uh you could use some of this stuff for airsoft but some of it you know you could just keep as a like a talking piece you know be cool to have uh have a piece of military issued stuff in your house in the metal frame right here but that doesn't really matter but um yeah it's more affordable I guess um some of the air stuff out there on airsoft websites is actually good prices and stuff and you can get that too but this is just another suggestion um sorry the video is so long and yeah that's it